we recognize that our role in the community is to provide a very much needed service, uh, service, especially in times of great need. So we were able to uh, change our programming, modify our programming, and introduce some new things, such as our Kids Zone at Home program, which was virtual programming that served over 484 kids through the pandemic. And we were among the first to reopen our programs, such as summer camp, childcare, and uh, now swim lessons that uh, will be starting soon. With a lot of our programs, we really leaned on the expertise of our regional public health uh, and uh, the experts to guide us through a process that really focused on maintaining uh, physical distancing. Uh, we took great steps to elevate our already uh, very high standards as it related to cleaning, um, making sure that we have uh, personal protective equipment uh, uh, available, um, and introducing other you know, strategies and, and augmenting programming to make sure that uh, we manage our risk in a very thoughtful way. The reaction from the public to the Boys and Girls Club of Niagara reopening has been very positive. A lot of individuals uh, you know, not only look forward uh, to Boys and Girls Club programs because of the, the value they see in them, uh, but there was a, a solid need. A lot of parents, as they look to get back into the workforce and, and uh, look at some form of normalcy, as well as kids going back to school, uh, the Boys and Girls Club played a very vital role in making sure that uh, those transitions uh, were easy on parents. Fundraising for the Boys and Girls Club of Niagara plays a major role in the services and programs they provide. As a leading charity in, in the region, we really depend on the donations of, of others to make sure that we can fulfill our mission and do our good work. Uh, luckily, uh, you know, a lot of our regular donors uh, stepped up. We received uh, significant support from uh, all levels of government, including the federal, provincial, uh, and regional governments. Uh, we had our city partners, uh, particularly the uh, city of Niagara Falls and town of Fort Erie, really step up to support, as well as other agencies that uh, continue to uh, um, give us funds, including the United Way and the Branscombe Family Foundation. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to uh, uh, be where we are today. Along with reopening, the club also has started offering some new programs. We're very uh, excited as part of our recovery plan uh, to be reintroducing youth swimming lessons at both our Niagara Falls and our Fort Erie location uh, located in the EJ Freeland Community Center. Uh, swim lessons are available at, uh, for all ages and parents can uh, register to start October 1st uh, by visiting us online for a start date of Tuesday, October the 13th, just after Thanksgiving. For more information on programs, visit bgcn.ca.